Hey guys, so today I have a massively overdue empties. This is one I was needing to film like way back in, well not way way back, but you know, in like September. Yeah. So I have way too many, so I'm going to try to go through them pretty quickly, quick, pretty quickly and not give like too much information. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, so, yeah, we probably should just jump right in. And no, yes, I did not change from filming my last video that I just did. To be honest, I didn't feel like it. And I don't have a whole lot of time. And my husband is in the room sleeping. It's because he's on third, so... I don't really be able to see to change anyway, so... Yeah! So here we go. I have this basket is like about to overflow. So yeah, let's try to go through this pretty quick. So first of all, Sheets of Teas Volumizing Hairspray by Not Your Mother's. Um, I did use up a couple cans of this, but I'm not including them all. So there you go. Love that stuff. Then I used up a Chi Ionic Color Protector System shampoo. Um, that was okay. Um, I do like the smell. It kind of smells like men's cologne. But I got this on clearance a while back and I was just trying to use it up, honestly. Um, then I used up two of the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave In Conditioner. I did really like that. Um, but right now I'm trying to see if I like something that's a lot cheaper. Because um, I don't want to be hooked on anything that's kind of pricey when baby comes. And then the Bosch and Loam Proxy Clear, which is fairly new, um, but I kept getting coupons for this. It's a really good contact solution, a lot like Clear Care. It has hydrogen peroxide in it, so you put it in the little kind of upright contact case that it comes with, and you have to leave it for at least like six or seven hours um, for it to be fully like. So it won't sting your eyes when you put your contacts back in. But it does really work really well. And when I use stuff like this, I find that I can get more use out of my contacts. Then I used up the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Lotion. Um, I do have more of this. This was one that I had a while back. Um, I don't think I really used it consistently enough to know if it made a huge difference. Oh, I do have another hairspray in here. And then I have like two more in the bathroom that I've already used up. <laughs> Alright. Um, up and Up Body Wash. Obviously by Target, Pomegranate and Lemon Verbena. Um, I did like this. I don't know if I'd repurchase. I don't like to use one, one scent too long or I'll get sick of it. Um, I used up the Beautiful um, Red Raspberry Leaf Supplement. Um, I was taking this right before I got pregnant, and I know it's really good to take kind of like in your third trimester um, to kind of strengthen the uterus and everything, I think, but I'm not taking any of it right now because pills kind of make me gag, but yeah, I do have more bottles of this. And then I use up the Sensitive Scalp 10, 10 Volume Developer. Um, by Ion. I got this from Sally's. Right now I have a much bigger bottle that I finally got after I keep using it. Um, but yeah, I use that to down my hair. Then I use up the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist. This is my favorite Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. I did have the color one as well, which is still in my bathroom, but it is used up. Um, but yeah, I like this one better. I think it is thicker than the color preserving one. And then I have Clear Care Contact Lotion, like I just talked about the other one. Um, Mario Badescu Special Cucumber Lotion. Um, I think I mentioned before I did go back to the Special Cleansing Lotion C. It's a little bit stronger and does work better for me. Then I use up, boy, I don't remember when I used this up. MAC Oil Control Lotion, the mini travel size. This is $10. It's a better deal than the full size. Yeah, these ones on the bottom I used up like a while ago. Um, Shaytara Organics Tamanu Oil. I did replace this. Um, I use it pretty often, almost every night. Yeah. 
So I did repurchase that. It's a good nighttime oil. And then It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. Um, I did repurchase this when It Cosmetics had their friends and family sale. Use it every single day and I love this stuff. I use it before foundation so I don't need as much. Really, I'm making a mess. <laughs> um, I used up two of the Rite Aid Renewal Oil Free Makeup Remover. These are like the Neutrogena one, but these actually have more in the bottle and they are cheaper and they work really well. Um, so I just always repurchase the Rite Aid one. There's always some kind of sale on them. <clears throat> then um, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation in Light Medium. I did have that a while and I just finally pulled it out of my drawer not long ago because there's like pretty much nothing left in there anyway. I am wearing my lighter color Tarte foundation today. I just finally realized that I haven't been wearing it and I kind of need to because it is my winter shade. Um, the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara, and I was using it with the wand from the Miss Manga. Oh wait, no I wasn't. No, I had used up this first, and then I switched the wand to the Miss Manga to use it up. Yeah, that's what I did. Because I didn't like the wand from Miss Manga. Then, um, I also just used another one of these today. About once a month, I dye my hair with Demi Permanent Cream Color from Sally's and Medium Ash Blonde. So if you do, obviously this is not really blonde. If you do want to use their hair color, I recommend going um, lighter than you actually want. So yeah, I do like this color, but it, just so you know, it's called blonde. <laughs> Then, um, Up and Up Body Wash Complete Moisturizing compared to Olay Ultra Moisture Body Wash. So, I did like that, um, but one of the main ingredients is soybean oil. So, yeah, I won't be repurchasing that. Then the Hemp's Creamy Papaya and Shea Herbal Body Moisturizer. I did really like this, um, but and I do have another one I'm using kind of halfway gone. But the scent, I just have to kind of go by how I'm feeling. Um, yeah, pregnancy is weird. And then the Love My Body Seriously Soft Body Cream, Jasmine and Water Lily. I this a while back and I was just kind of hoarding the last bit of it because it smells so good. This is a scent I could use every day. It's just soft and fresh. And I really wish I had more of this. But I did get this one at Victoria's Secret Outlet, which is not anywhere near me. And this smells so good. I don't want to get rid of it, but it's all gone. Then, Ready to Renewal and Nighttime Calming Makeup Remover Towelettes. Um, I don't know. I don't remember if I liked them. Huh, it's been too long, but I don't think I would. The, the Ology um, Gentle Soothing Facial Palettes, I believe this is, yeah, it's the Walgreens brand. These were too dry. I do remember that. Way too dry. So I would not repurchase those. The Chi Style Illuminate Sage Blow Dry Spray. I did like that. I have a second bottle that's also getting low. So yeah, but it's a nice blow dry spray. Um, the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, I did repurchase that. It was just getting really hard to get out and this one was really old. So yeah, I do have another one. Then, um, Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. So it's sulfur 10% and also has salicylic acid. Which So I haven't, hadn't been using this for a while really, since you're not supposed to use like chemicals um, while pregnant. But this did work pretty well. Um, there was, if I do ever repurchase something like this, I'll probably get that cheaper one that they have at Ulta in the kind of the drugstore skincare section. I think it's like ten dollars. Um, but yeah, I got that last Christmas, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Then I have a beauty blender in here, apparently, that just got really worn out and stained. And obviously, I still love my beauty blenders. This is the one I use today. So, yeah. That was my old one. Then I used up, let's see, a Physician's Formula Lash Boosting Liquid Liner. This is my Holy Grail liquid liner. Absolutely love it. Um, it's the only one I have ever tried that stays on me all day. Never ends up in my crease unless on the rare occasion that I'm both extremely hot and sweaty and really oily. Like if I haven't gotten to like blot and everything. So yeah. This is an amazing liquid liner. Less than ten dollars. Usually get on sale. I beat it. And I prefer the deep brown shade. <clears throat> and then Maybelline Baby Lips. That was pretty much gone. Used that up. And Baby Lips aren't my favorite. They're not like super moisturizing or anything. Um, then I used up a Scentsy Cider Mill and Pumpkin Roll. I did really love both of these for fall. Then the Boots Number no. 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation. Obviously there's a bunch more left in here, which makes me sad to get rid of this because I absolutely love the packaging. It's just so handy. and I love the airless pump where you make sure you're getting out everything, but it, I've had this way too long and it's expired, so I have to get rid of it. And it is too dark for me for winter, so I would have to mix it with something else if I was to use it. Then I use up the Holy Sexy, Smooth Sexy Hair Sulfate Free Smoothing Shampoo. Um, I also used up the conditioner, which is somewhere around here. I think it's on the bathroom floor. Um, I did really like this one. So yes, I think I would repurchase. It's one of those sulfate free shampoos that still um, lathers pretty well. Um, so yeah. I did really like that and then sulfate and paraben and free and all that good stuff. So I did like that. Then the Nivea Kiss of Milk and Honey lip balm. Used that all up and I did repurchase that. This is the one that I put on before bed usually. And then a Jane um, Water Resistant Eyeliner in Brown. This is the eyeliner I always use on my lower lash line. Um, cause it does last pretty well and it's pretty cheap too. You can find Jane at Ulta. And then the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. Um, haven't used this in a long time so I think that's why I was just tossing it. Um, this was nice but I don't know. I didn't really notice a huge difference when I was using it so my stomach just growled. I need to go make dinner. Um, but yeah. I mean, people raved about it. I don't know. Personally, I didn't see a huge difference. And then the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. It's lasting. Absolutely love this. Um, I did repurchase just a travel size just because it was half the price. And I do absolutely love this. Um, I'm not wearing it today. I tried to use my MAC Brow Gel in Dirty Blonde. I just I really love using this better because it's so fast and easy and I feel like the color matches me better than um, this brow gel does so yeah but I do absolutely love the um, their universal brow pencil and that's everything so we did it now I have a huge pile of trash on the floor next to me <laughs> So that is it for my empties. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about a product, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.